I was living in the South Bay, and this fellow named Lance Lawson had just opened up this video store called Video Archives. And it really was a movie lover's heaven. It was really terrific. I was a customer there, and I really liked it. And uh, eventually he asked me if I wanted a job. And I was like, yeah, I'd love a job here. This would be a dream. And, and it was. It was until I became a director. It was the best job I'd ever had. And, um, and I ended up working there for like five years. Well, this is where the world famous video archives was. And this is where it is now. So why don't we go inside and take a look? Video Archives was a very relaxed atmosphere. They had popcorn available, so I'm a popcorn fan. I would eat popcorn and chat with Quentin. I always had a kick out of talking to Quentin because he was so opinionated about everything under the sun. This is one of the few places that Quentin could come as a regular guy and get a job and become like a star because he was like the star of the store since if you, well, Lance if you was needed the star to, of the store too. Well, yeah, but he didn't know as much as you did. So, like, Lance knows a lot. He knows. Yeah, he knows. He knows uh, a I know more about it. I know more about Italian exploitation films and TNA um, movies. <laughs> Chess Franco than Lance. <laughs> a customer would come into the store and he could ask me maybe an obscure film, and I might be able to tell the year it was directed, uh, who directed it, and maybe who the leads were. And Quentin would go on to tell you who the supporting cast was, who the DP was, who wrote the screenplay, <laughs> and probably do a couple of scenes from the film <laughs> well, see, with the dialogue verbatim. You know, that's, well, uh, that's well, the difference between yeah. Quentin and I. Uh. But you see, the funnest part, see, the one thing of the about like film geeks about is they have an intense love for film, incredible love for film, incredible passion. They devote a lot of time, they devote a lot of money, and they devote a lot of their life to the following of film. But they don't really have that much to show for all this devotion, other than a movie poster collection or a still collection, all right? The one thing that they do have to definitely show for it is they have their opinion, all right? They have a highly developed opinion. But what you find out fairly quickly in Hollywood is this is a community where hardly anybody trusts their own opinion. People want people to tell them what is good, what to like, what not to like. Now, here I come, all right? I'm a film geek. My opinion is everything, all right? You can all disagree with me, I don't care, all right? I know I'm right, as far as I'm concerned, all right? Uh, and I'll argue anybody down. 